afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Leeds Minster and the Leeds Leader Festival. We're delighted to be here this afternoon to give a concert of 10 brand new songs, especially created uh, for this occasion and for uh, the Leeds Songbook, which is part of the Leeds Leader Composers and Poets Forum. The Composers and Poets Forum has been running for many, many years, uh, but the Leeds Songbook is a relatively new project which was begun in two, uh, 2023. Uh, so last year, um, the project involves uh, a group of 10 student composers from all over the country coming together with 10 local uh, poets from the Leeds area and creating a, a new song, uh, each, each pair creating a new song about Leeds and the people of Leeds, or a person, a Leeds person. Um, they write these songs specifically for participants of uh, our Young Artists Programme, uh, which involves uh, 10 uh, student pianists and 10 singers. And we're really excited today to be hearing these new songs in their first outing. We have been um, taking part in workshops this week, over two days where the new songs have been worked on, discussed, uh, and we're now going to perform them for you uh, in this wonderful building. Thank you very much for being here, and please welcome our first performers. Uh, this song is called City Turned Into a Song. The cobbled market choir calls, the lakeside serenades, Feast on, you picnicking throng, soar on clouded kites, skip through the eclipsing rope, canal walking hopes, while father mourns, weeping mother sighs, on the day that the city turned into a song. Listen to the lion roar in city square, pass it forward to the people gathered there, Grocer, sister, stranger, son, friend, everyone. This is the day the city turns into a song. The baritone free man still echoes. Charity, melody, rave on. Chant from the stands, ripple out so loud, so proud. Hear the coffee sippers, the day trippers, the gift buyers and heavy sires, the well-wishers well met, marching hand in hand under a star-crossed sky, a crescent moon, on the day that the city turned into a song.
My name's Ian Parks, and this song is called The Poet. In wintertime she can be found beneath an absinthe moon, where lamps are lighted in the dark. She comes trailing patchouli with a ribbon in her hair, leaves petals scattered on the floor and points under the door, where new-found couples sway in headingly, far headingly, when the stars begin to freeze. In summertime, you'll find her there, between the mirrors of Arcadia and the ticking clock cafe, walking through the windless park with strings of amber, strings of pearl, the warm wind in her hair, between the teapots and the upturned glass dispensing love poems everywhere, in Headingley, far Headingley, where her poems sing in the trees. Thank you. 
Hi, uh, my name's Chris, and this poem is called She Walks the Blue and Yellow Lands. Yorkshire tongued with Ukrainian blood, chirping A up or Dobradane to every living thing she catalogues along her way, planting storied seeds into paper cups fertilized by pencil shavings and eraser dust, watered with hard work and wanderlust. Nurtured by nature in times of trouble, reminded how it is delicate, beautiful, disgusting, and somehow still magical. Ephemeral bits of infinite once witnessed now survive in Christina's archive of comics. What could be more wonderful? storied seeds into paper cups fertilized by pencil shavings and eraser dust watered with hard work and on the last Somehow still not 
Afternoon, my name is Yvonne Ugarte, and this is called Letter from Heaven. I now live on the edge of your world. The torch of your love for me burns ever bright. Your strength and your courage are my guiding light. You taught me so much when I lived down on earth, compassion and love, always knowing my worth. You'll still hear my voice in the breeze through the trees. So do not be disheartened despairing or sad for I'm always there with you my hero my dad
Hello, uh, my name's Christina Diprose, and this poem is poem and song uh, is called A Lighthouse Near Holbeck. How it starts. Bossy Robin knocking on. Family of blue tits. Charm of finches. Welcome, friends. She lays out a feast of seeds. The beech tree stirs, creeps closer rustles her awake at dawn in her canopy bed. She paints and scatters red and yellow leaves. Then the wasps arrive, evicted, tired, cold. She's terrified, but kind. She understands. She hangs a beacon. Make yourself at home. Oh, it's 
Hi, my name's Susan Darlington, and this piece is The Birdman of Adel Woods. Boot prints in mud and a snapped birch twig are the only sign that Birdman is here. Silent with listening to the ripple of robin, the natter of nuthatch in its outlaw mask. I want to reach out, but I'm afraid his jacket will crumble into moss in my clumsy fingers. His hat will unravel with spider silk and spin out on the breeze. Be caught on words that are pellet hard, coughed up in fur and bone. A tongue I can't comprehend as I crash through bramble. The screech of birds telling me I don't belong.
Hello, my name's Laura Strickland, and this poem and song is called Richard's Song, in memory of Wilma McCann. I stitch your name on ribbons, Mum, and stream them to our garden on Scott Hall Avenue, where a bird weaves them round her nest to keep her babies warm. And when she leaves to look for food, they're safe and not in fear of falling. When they learn to fly, their song will follow kids, chattering their way to school. They'll sing of longing, the sound rising to the sky. They'll sing and sing and sing until they raise their young to sing for you, Mum. Until everyone sings your name, Wilma. And stream them to a garden on Scott Hall Avenue, where a bird weaves them round her nest to keep her babies warm. And when she leaves to food they're safe and not in fear of
Lizzie, Lizzie Nolan, and this is the Changeling Moss. Three homes were built in the bottom of the valley, backed up to the banks of the babbling beck. And to each home was born a babbling baby, as sunny as the sky, as calm as the lake. One called reed, and one called stone, and moss on the other bank all alone. And the proud parents stood in the doorway calling, see my beautiful baby, see my beautiful home. Sometimes in the spring, the beck also rises, along with the sap and the love and the song. And some kinds of soil can drink less rain if the clay of their body resists too long. But this is not something that parents must heed, for all parents know what their precious child needs as they all stand in the doorway calling, see our beautiful baby, see the charmed life we lead. And the parents of Reed built a beautiful garden all around the walls of their beautiful home, shipped in the finest of flora and the finest of trees, and when the roots drowned and rotted, the finest of loam. And the stone parents smirked at their neighbours' strife and paved all theirs over for an easier life. And both sets stood in their doorways calling, see how we triumph, see how we thrive. And the reed parents knew that all children change and they can be guided and moulded and pruned. But others are changelings who spit, hiss and bite or sit silent and sullen amid the life that they've ruined. And Stone's parents laughed, as well they might, with their own child's tears buried far down out of sight. And they face each other across their gardens calling, see our cleverness, see how our way is right. And now Reed's garden is beautiful, precious and tamed, an everlasting fight pouring gold after sweat. But Reed is not there, though he's welcome, they say, when he can behave. He's not chosen to yet. Stone is still home, a quiet girl and good. If the rain washes off, then there's no way to flood. And sometimes she stands with her parents in the doorway, see our perfect girl, see no trace of mud. But what of moss on the other bank alone? Well, some know what it is to live by the beck and live with the water's rise and the changeling's rage. Think. How sunny is the sky? How calm is the lake? Look at the banks. See what flowers can be found. See what does not rot. See what is not drowned. Moss lives there still amidst bog iris and sedge and sits there with reed at the water's edge and they don't call to the neighbours. It's enough to be known in your own beautiful bog, your own beautiful home.
Tears buried far down out of sight. And they faced across the gardens, calling, See our cleverness, see how our ways right. I'm Hannah Stone, and this is With Cheer for Lizzie. She's a sunshine on this farm that's squashed between beleaguered River Air and Kirkstall Road, greeting the volunteers with cheery smile. She shows us how to sow and plant, weed and stake, water and harvest. Gales may buffet us, rain drench, but with Lizzie alongside we laugh and chat. We shelter, cradling mugs of tea in grubby hands, sharing snacks. With cheer, she signs off weekly messages about the harvest share. The regal pumpkins, frills of kale, saucy forked carrots, muddy spuds. What cheer they bring to mealtimes. Three cheers for inspiring Lizzie. Thank you.
Good afternoon, my name is Abby Senior and this is Life Lessons. On a rainy weekday morning as the world rushes on by, they two alone pause with a twinkle in each eye, by a busker singing sweetly a keyboard under hand, to her audience of just those two, the woman and the man. The transformation happens quick, a blink and miss it kind of one, as his toe taps to the rhythm, her heart listens to the song. Then the pavement becomes their ballroom, as dazzling as Blackpool Tower. The street lamps become stage lights, the rain a confetti shower. A crowd begins to gather, folks standing side by side. And with a disco ball of camera phones, the moments shared worldwide. As the song comes to an end, the crowd applauds, then gone. But there beyond the final chord, the dance continues on. Oh, 
to thank you everyone <clears throat> thank you so much uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to all our participants our composers poets and young artists and in particular I wanted to say thank you to our brilliant uh, project leaders Hannah Stone and Martin Idden who have given so freely and generously of their time and expertise over the past months and without whom this project simply wouldn't have happened so thank you to you both in particular And I think we should give a last round of applause to all our composers, poets and young artists. So if you would all like to stand, thank you. Thank you.